Hi, my name is Ted Tesman, and this is the final video in the series on how to get the most out of your nitro engine. And this video will be about um, post-race care of how I take care of my engine after the race, what I do after, right after I stop the engine. Uh, so let's get started. So one of the most important things you want to do after you st stop the engine, whether it be after a qualifier or a race or a practice session, is you want to turn the flywheel to get the piston at the bottom. Um, so you can kind of feel it go both ways till it gets tight and go somewhere in the middle. If you don't do that, and the piston is at the top dead center and it cools like that, it can, uh, it'll shrink the seat sleeve around the piston, which can cause damage to the piston and sleeve and reduce engine life. Another thing I like to do is use after oil in my engines after a race weekend or practice day. Um, it's especially important when you're running in places with high humidity. Uh, your engine's an expensive part of your program, and to take care of it with uh, some engine after oil, I like to use the hoodie stuff. Um, really isn't that expensive and it's going to ensure your engine life is longer, it's going to give your bearings, make them rust free, your crankshaft rust free. Um, it's just a really good thing to do after a race to prolong and make your um, engines last longer. So before I do anything with this, I'm going to make sure around the glow plug is clean. I either use motor spray, um, paintbrush, air compressor, anything like that. I've already cleaned this so I don't have to do that, but uh, after a race I'm going to make sure that's clean so when I take the glow plug out, I'm dripping oil in there and nothing can get taken with it if there's a little bit of dirt around the outside. So I'm going to break the glow plug loose and I'm going to use a generous amount of after oil in here because it's inexpensive and you want to make sure the engine, everything's coated good. So I'll put a couple drop or a good amount in there and then I'm going to turn the engine over and kind of move it around to so make sure everything is coated, the bearing gets coated good and the crankshaft's coated. And then put the glow plug back in. And then it's ready to go whenever I want to fire it up again. And when I've had engines that sit for a year and are just ready to go when I am ready to go again with them and they're perfectly good. Okay, so now that you're at the track with your engine that's been in storage for a while, uh, it's full of after on oil. And I like to flush that out before I start running so it doesn't follow the glow plug or Put extra stress on the motor when you first turn it over. So my engine's been heating now. Um, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take the glow plug out and then plug the pipe with the throttle full on the radio so it can have fuel flushing through the engine and then the glow plug being out it's going to let it come out the top. I'm going to have a piece of paper towel there to catch it and that'll flush all the after oil out and then when you put your glow plug back in you'll be able to start it up. So I'll get doing that. My engine's been heated now so there's no stress of that. I'll take the glow plug out. And when you do this, you want to make sure your glow plug in the surrounding area is clean. Mine's clean already, but if it's not, you want to do like some motor spray or paintbrush in there or blow it out with the air compressor. So I'll put it push down with it. I'll hold my throttle full. I'm going to hold the pipe plugged. You can hear it. It kind of sounded weird because it usually um, has the glow plug in it, but it's all open. So the, the paper towels to catch the extra fuel that comes out but you hear it flushing through and now it's ready to put the glow plug back in and start it up. So now that I've got it all flushed out, we're going to go ahead and start it up. Nitro engines can be tricky to run successfully, but if you follow the videos in this series, it should give you um, a better time at the track, a better success rate, and more fun racing your RC car. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.